So uh, let, let's start with those cleanups in March. How mm -hmm. do you think they went, in your opinion? Well, you know what? I thought they uh, went well in terms of the objective of cleaning up the, the, that area. Uh, obviously, they came back after we discovered another encampment. But uh, the ideal is that, you know, right now we have sufficient enough shelter beds for individuals. We have an abundance of wraparound services that we are going at the, the most vulnerable with right now and providing for them. Um, and we do not believe that we should allow for the unhealthy conditions to exist. And this is where I call bullshit on Denver's Mayor Hancock. For one, I'm an addiction specialist in the Denver metro area, and I know for a fact last year there were many homeless who were getting drunk with the express purpose of trying to find a place to sleep for the night, so they were just getting into detox. And they, they, they weren't alcoholics, they were just drinking for getting a place to sleep at night. Why? Because all of the homeless shelters were overflowing, and with the first snow, this will happen again just like it happened last year. Uh, when, when I would take homeless people to the shelters to try to get them in, they had to be there sometimes at 5 in the morning to sign up to be part of the lottery system to let them into the building. Okay? So, bullshit. There aren't enough services in the Denver area, and in one year they haven't done anything to increase the number of beds in those shelters, okay? The second thing that I'm calling bullshit on is they really are trying to gentrify the downtown area, okay? They're not putting their police all over the town, like, looking under bridges to find all the homeless there. No, they're going to the line outside of the shelters that exist, harassing the homeless that are huddled around the shelters that can't get in sometimes. Some of them just feel safer around the shelter, so that's where they set up, okay? And that's where they're going to harass the, the people that they're saying. They say there's services for these people. They're going to harass them at the fucking front door, these services. And to illustrate this point, I took a little field trip. Here you go. So I'm here where the uh, police are doing a homeless sweep today. Uh, and it, it looks pretty peaceful, like they've just notified the homeless that they need to move along, and so they're all packing up their stuff. And so, it looks like this. You know, people just don't have anywhere else to go, so they're packing up all their stuff to leave, right? This is the truck that the police will use if they don't pack up their stuff. Everything that's left goes in this custom environmental services truck, and then they uh, put it in police impound, and if they can prove that they own it, they can go get it later, but that's what it looks like. The big point I want to make by making this video is uh, Mayor Hancock, he said that there's plenty of services that the homeless could be using and that they refuse to use them, and that's why it's okay to clean these people up, because there's plenty of services, right? Okay. So, there's a lot more people having to move along. There's the cops doing it. They're pretty much just waiting for everyone to clear out that's going to clear out. And there's... I call what? Yep. I call what? There's some more. And there's some more trucks that they'll use to uh, pack people up into if they don't decide to leave on their own. So, these are all the homeless that are packing up. Please do not record my homies. Okay. So the big point I want to make is they're, they're making people move, but where they're moving 
from is what I want to point out. That's Samaritan House over there, and that's Jesus Saved right over there. These people are waiting in line to get into the shelter. 